Hello everyone, welcome back to God of YouTube, it's Michael here. Uh, so today I'm going to show you around a free bit of software that anyone can download just to keep their PC clean. It has been mentioned in a previous video, but I thought I'd go through it in a little bit more detail. So this is CCleaner. Uh, CCleaner is a free program that you can download directly from CCleaner's website. Uh, and CCleaner allows you just to maintain and monitor your computer. You can pay for features if you really wanted to, and it does do all your driver updates. It will automatically keep everything updated and clean for you. It will op optimize your performance. It will tell you everything. So I'll just go through it. Uh, so it will do a computer health check. So we'll go ahead and run that. It's telling me there's stuff open, but there really isn't. We'll go ahead and do that. As you can see, it shows that there's some features that are locked for pro only. Uh, apparently, <laughs> apparently it's found some issues with Shane's computer, so we'll see what it's found. So this will just make sure your computer's um, good to go. There's nothing, so it gives you a bit of a report down here. So it tells you trackers, it's removed some junk files. If there's anything on startup to disable, it will do it for you, or it'll tell you what you can and can't disable. But these are pro features, so you have to pay. Um, so yeah, that's good. Custom clean, you saw this in a previous video. If you just want to make sure your computer is clean before turning it off or before you go ahead and open a game or something like that, or you've been working on it all day, run this because this is a very good feature. You can select what you want it to delete uh, out of all of this, but obviously if you don't know what they do, leave them alone because you might end up breaking your computer. Uh, but these are the ones that you can actually, that are safe for you to tick. So if you want, I'll, sc I'll scroll through them. You can just pause the video and just go into it and tick it at home if you want to use it. Uh, so I'll go ahead and run this on Shane's computer. Uh, and it will scan his. So as you can see there, it found some files that it wanted to clear up. Keep running it until hopefully that should go completely clear. A log file that it found. And it's complete. Job done. Completely clear. Nothing to remove, nothing. It will show up here if there's anything that you want to remove. Performance optimizer. I don't understand this feature. Um, as you can see that there's certain things that it's obviously recommending that you do. Uh, Microsoft OneDrive, you don't use that, so that can go to sleep. Uh, apparently that's quite high on Shane's computer. What is it doing? I think it's trying to put it to sleep and it's sort of crashed itself. Uh, normally, it will do it almost instantly. We'll just wait and see what it does. If it doesn't, then I'll just pause the recording and uh, reboot it. Okay, so it's a pro feature. So, never mind. Um, so, yeah, you can see the programs that are running in the background. So, he's got Steam. Has he got Steam open? No. Okay. So it might must just be running in the background. Obviously, Rockstar, it's very low, but that's perfectly fine. Uh, it just updates GTA and your socials. And AMD software is a program that Shane has for his new graphics card. Driver updater. This is a really good one. I use this one all the time. Uh, it will go through. Scan your drivers. This is completely free. It will tell you exactly what drivers are out of date. If you have the Pro, it will obviously update them for you. Um, let's see if there is any of Shane's drivers that are out of date. I don't think there is because I have not long done a check. Uh, so it has found a few. Uh, and you can actually go through. Uh, so it's found an update for uh, his wireless card. It's found an update for the, wi the wire card in the, the network card on the computer motherboard itself. Something just clicked and I didn't know what that was. Uh, other, what's in this one? Whoops. Uh, PCI serial port, that's fine. Uh, a lot of Intel chipset updates. Uh, these are USB ports, express controller, interface. So it does absolutely everything. Let's see if it will actually update any of them. It will go through through every single update that you have that's linked that shows on this screen. And it will try to update them as long as you've got a stable enough internet connection. Which is also a paid feature. It never used to be. So there you, go. you can see the, the, the different options. So you've got uh, free, which is basic. Professional. Uh, it's all the features but one. And then 
Professional Plus, which is everything. Uh, but that's fine. We can go through these manually. I can go through these manually and update them. Registry. Don't touch this because this was how you mess up your computer. Unless you know what you're doing, do not touch this. This will basically scan to see if it's fat, if your Windows or any other program is missing driver files. Um, oh dear, <laughs> it found 77 issues. Okay, review selected issues. Uh, I'll cancel that. I'll sort that out another time. I don't want to crash the computer or have it restart randomly. Tools, this is quite a good one. So obviously you can remove programs. If there's a program on there that you don't want, you can remove them from here. Um, it saves you going into um, the um, the settings, programs and features and removing it from there. You can actually do it directly from here. So if there's anything in here that you're struggling to get rid of or anything like that, you can actually uninstall it from here. There's nothing on Chain's computer that needs to be removed. So I can't show you, but there's plenty, you know, as you can see, he's got quite a lot installed on here. Software updater, that will just update it. So, uh, there's no software that needs to be updated. Startup, this is quite a good one. So on with certain programs, they will start, you know, when you turn your computer on, the program will come up straight away. That's not good for your computer. So this program allows you to disable them. You can do it uh, using other security features and settings on the computer, um, but this does it for you. So AMD Noise, we've allowed that to come on because that's part of his audio from his graphics card. Uh, CCleaner, we don't let it start. We have to run it manually. We don't want that to start in the background. If he starts playing a game and CCleaner runs, it might crash the game. Discord, everybody knows Discord will start automatically. We've disabled that. Edge, that's just an updater. OneDrive, he doesn't use that, but I don't disable it because it does deal with memory. And Steam... That's a, an obvious one. You don't want your game. You might not be coming on your computer to game every time. So we've disabled that one as well. And security and health. That's a Microsoft. Never disable anything that has Microsoft here. Uh, you don't want to do that. Options. There's oh no sorry. There's tools. Browser plugins. If there's, he has got one two. Okay, there's two plugins. So you can enable and disable them if you want to. It will even analyze your discs. Pardon me. Don't drink fizzy pop before uh, recording a video. Um, it will scan all your files to make sure there's no duplicates or anything wrong with your files. That's the duplicate finder. Uh, system restore. So it will create uh, random um, restore points that you can actually restore to, just in case you have a, an issue. And obviously if you want to wipe a driver, uh, sorry, a drive on your computer, you memory uh, hard drives or ssds or even memory sticks it will do as well uh, as you can see i've got my memory stick plugged in now i can wipe that if i so wish from c cleaner options this is basically just settings so as you can see there it's all yeah and you can change this so when you start c cleaner do you want it to come on to health check or custom clean i'll change that to custom clean because that's what it should be on um you you can play this play through this all the time if you want you can have a play with this yourselves cookies uh everyone likes cookies just not these um this is you can just allow all this is allow cookies there's nothing special in there um all of this is to do with you know different features that you can use or not use use um so yeah there's there's loads you know you can um advanced settings if you want it to close the program after a custom clean no not shut down the plonker Close program after custom clean. I hide warning messages. Uh, privacy, if you want to read their boring legal jargon. Some more information, if you want to get... There you go, there's their website. Will it load? Because the last video, it would not load. Let's see if it will actually load uh, the CCleaner website. So it's there, it's ccleaner.com, if you want to. I will put it in the description. Um, but the internet's not working. Uh, it says it's connected, but it really isn't doing anything uh, and obviously all their social medias if you want to have a look i'm sure they've got better tutorials than what i'm going through and upgrade in case you want to go for one of the pro versions you can go ahead and do that so this is c cleaner uh, it gives you a lot of information a lot of useful tools there you go there's the prices in case you were wondering um the date at the bottom it's the 29th so the obviously it was right at the time of recording uh, just in case anyone throws it up later down the line um, 
it does give you some basic stats so it tells you down here behind the subscribe button ironically let me see if i can get rid of that just temporarily there you go um so down here uh, you can see it's on windows 10 64 bit and we are on the admin user uh, and it tells you exactly what you're running in your computer some basic stats uh, and if you want to check whether this uh discord it's definitely not discord uh, if you want to check if CCleaner's got any updates, you can just go ahead down here and just hit check for updates. And it will check as long as you are connected to a decent internet connection and not a hamster like we are today. Um, so yeah, that's CCleaner. If you do want to... What is it doing now? Um, if you do want to get CCleaner, it's ccleaner.com and just follow the instructions for the free version. I will put all the links in the description in case you do want to get it for your computer. Uh, I hope that's a useful one for any of you that you do have. You can put this on laptops, desktop computers like this one of Shane's, or uh, tablets it will go on. I think it even goes on phones as well now. Um, so have a play with it. Uh, if you get stuck, drop a, a comment down below and I will reach out to you uh, and will hopefully help you fix the issue. Uh, but yeah, this is Sea Cleaner. Uh, we are doing a load more content so stay tuned but for now that is it i hope you did enjoy that one if you did like it make sure you smash that like button to show that you do like the content that we are putting out hopefully shane will be back very soon and getting more content with him in because it is his channel um yeah like the video make sure you share with your friends if you've got a friend that's got a computer that doesn't know how to maintain the computer this program's a great way to start learning and Obviously, the big one, make sure you subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, and we will see you very soon in the next video. Goodbye.